Well, our schools are back in session following the holiday break, but here at Green Hill High School, things a bit more subdued today, and rightfully so, as this school continues to cope with the tragedy of losing one of their very own. Purple, it was her favorite color. So very fittingly, purple ribbons can be seen greeting guests at Green Hill High School, and it's all to honor Ambria McGregor. Meanwhile, inside the school, many students and staff are wearing purple today to help keep her memory strong following the recent tragedy. You know, the, the purple attire and the armbands and the ribbons, not, all over, not only all over the school, but all over town. Um, looking at her parking spot and seeing the flowers and the candles and, and just students coming together to celebrate the positive impact that she had on her life has been huge. Back in early December, Ambria and a very close friend of hers were involved in a traffic accident. After battling for weeks in intensive care, Ambria would pass due to her injuries. Earlier this week, Ambria's services were held at her home church where she was very active. It was extremely emotional as so many attended to say their goodbyes and offer their support to her family. I'll see you in the beautiful sunsets, feel you in the whisper of the wind, and hear you in the calling of the ocean. Rest easy and fly high, my beautiful rainbow baby. Love always, mama. But there's so much more to this. Ambria was an incredible young lady. She was a sensational sophomore with an infectious smile and a gravitating personality. She was truly a light, and those who knew her best couldn't agree more. I mean, she had the most contagious laugh. Like, if you were, la if she was laughing, like you would laugh automatically. Like. She was in my youth group and she impacted other people like without even like having to talk to them. Like just her face just like made other people smile. I mean, really and truly she was like the most hard working out of all of us and was just there too if like you needed somebody to talk to or anything. She was always like open to talk about anything and wanted to make sure that you were having a good day before we even like stepped on the court. A fighter she was as she bravely held on for around three weeks following her accident. And that was just the kind of person she was. She never backed down, according to Green Hill teacher and volleyball coach Michelle Plummer, who's also a close family friend. Ambria never gave up. Um, she played volleyball and she played through middle school. Um, her going into her freshman year here, she had an injury and she couldn't try out for the team. Um, so she wasn't unable to play for us her freshman year here. Um, and then she continued to play and continued to get better. And both her and her mom had contacted me and said, what does Ambria need to do? Where does she need to improve um, to make that team going forward? And she just never gave up. She worked hard at everything she did. Ambria's story caught the attention of many. And one of those on the front line following every step of the way was local TV reporter, Kendall Ashman. I mean, on the day of the vigil at, in her parking spot, there were 50 students that showed up in pouring rain to say their prayers and basically lock arms with one another. And so she made, she was such a big impact in Wilson County um, that that's what, you know, really circulated on social media that got the attention of so many people across the country and potentially, yeah, across the world. The support that Ambria and her family received through all of this was nothing short of incredible. The Mount Juliet community would rally, even illuminating the city purple in honor of her. Children in our district's Kids Club program made cards. The Mount Juliet Green Hill Lebanon Club hockey team even taped their sticks purple for Ambria. And at school, her parking space is covered with candles, representing the light that she truly was. I mean, I was blown away to see how many people showed up from her friends, her family, community members, her nursing staff, EMS workers, teachers, the faculty. I mean, it was, there were so many people that showed up for her and her family. And I mean, it was beautiful to see that many people. To add even more light to Ambria's story, she was an organ donor and has the potential to save up to eight lives, according to a post by her mother on social media. Despite this tragedy, Ambria will impact others for many years to come with not only her gifts of life, but also her impact to those who knew her. I kept hearing the same stories over and over, and that was, she was a light. Um, I felt, though I didn't know her personally, I felt like I got to know her and I, you know, I heard things like she had the most infectious laugh, she was a daredevil, 
a really great friend. And so I think before the tragedy, she served as a role model, but even after, I think she will continue and her story will continue to live on as well. In Green Hills Cafeteria, the words strength, character, and community read very boldly for everyone to see. Ironically, it's those three words that undeniably describe Ambria's approach to life. So as we've entered a new year, perhaps there's another resolution you can add to your list. And that's be like Ambria and see the space around you become a better place to be that's full of light. Ambria had an infectious laugh. All of her friends will tell you that they didn't even have to know what Ambria was laughing about, but when they heard her laugh, they would all join in and laughing. She was just a kind soul that loved everyone, um, had friends, lots of friends at school. Everyone knew her, classmates. Um, she didn't meet a stranger. I'm Barb Barker with Wilson County Schools.